longer you can make that reach back behind you, the more it's going to help you put it over again. That's it. But that one does. Yeah, I know. That's what that one ain't going to be as good as the last one. <laughs> See it? There's no power in the rod hand at all. But when I come forward the next time, I'm going to haul fast. But the moment you apply extra power here, you start destroying your own loop. And that everybody thinks you make the cast with your fly, with your rod hand. The rod hand does two things. It determines the length of the stroke to load the rod and determines the size of the loop and direction. So if I make a but you notice my hand stays at the same height. And if you look at the loops, they're tight. Now if I raise the elbow and bend the wrist any, all of a sudden the loop opens up and we start wasting energy.